for the oscilloscope lab, we're going to use a function generator. And we call this the HP because the wonderful Hewlett Packard made that. Um, yeah, the check's in the mail. They're sending it to me. This is a very old box. Uh, these are probably on the order of 30 years old. They're still functioning well. Right here are the ports that you're going to use to send the signal up to the oscilloscope. If you were to plug these ports into a speaker, you would hear sounds, different pitches for depending on the frequency. So later on we'll show you how to, oops, yeah, here we are, how to hook these up to the oscilloscope. Right here you have your range dial. For the first part of the experiment, we want to calibrate this range dial. These are 30 years old. The oscilloscope probably has better timing. So we're going to send different values to the oscilloscope and read those frequencies on the oscilloscope and make a plot of the real frequency, or the oscilloscope, versus the function generator value that's on the dial. Now up here we have our range buttons. These are multipliers. And we want the 1,000. So just put in, push in the 1K. 1,000 times 5, and I'm sorry that's so fuzzy. 1,000 times 5, that's 5,000 hertz that's going to be sent to the oscilloscope. And we want to start at 1,000. You want the same person to adjust this during the experiment. You're going to adjust the frequency to the number 2 and take a reading. Adjust the frequency to 3,000. It should be 3,000, but what is it really? And then 4, and so on and so forth. For the second part, bring it to 1, and change the range to 100. So you're going to measure the range buttons now instead of the dial. Do not touch this after you've set it to 1. With the oscilloscope, measure 1, excuse me, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. 